figure, right? All okay. right, so we want to we want to jump on here today from an astrological and a psychic point of view. We have we have Kirsten here of uh, psychicbabes.com, and she we did a uh, we did a podcast a few weeks ago, and uh, we want to share some insight on the energy and uh, and all the crazy stuff going on from my side and also from just the intuitive psych side. So um, and from so your guys' side, we want to hear what you're feeling too, and what you know what you guys have to say. But of course. So, so, uh, so, Chris, just to just to give everybody an idea of who you are and what you do, you wanna you wanna let him know what's up. Yeah, I started my company in 2018. It's called Psychic Babes, and I have a podcast as well. And um, I do spiritual healing, um, energy work. Um, I do psychic readings. I read timelines. Um, I do past life regressions. Um, kind of the whole shebang and um, my own mix kind of thrown in there too so and life life coaching as well so um i've been doing this i had my uh, my first um prediction when i was four years old uh, about my grandfather being in the hospital and that just kind of spiraled into um yeah, progression of my visions i've had my entire life and never understood my parents didn't really know how to explain that to me so um i thought it was bad you know, I thought I was going to hell. So uh, it took me a little bit longer than most people to have my go through my actual spiritual awakening. It wasn't until after my divorce a couple of years ago when I really came into my my gift completely. And um, basically I made a deal kind of I agree to, you know, do what spirit's asking of me in exchange for, um, you know, me getting to help people and, you know, not having to worry about um I'm going to do for work. Am I going to let, I'm happy, you know? So mm -hmm. that's the deal. And that's, um, that's what I got. So that's why I'm here. Beautiful. So how, so how you feel it? Like, I know you know a little bit about, well, you actually know a, a pretty good deal about astrology, but, um, but I mean, what are yeah, you feeling about I'm getting there. Right I'm getting there. <laughs> you're getting there. I know yeah, you're too rich. <laughs> I appreciate that. So, so what do you, what are you feeling? What are you seeing? What do you, what have you like big picture, small picture? What do you see in the world going on right now? Well, I mean, big picture, December 21st, um, 2020 is the big day. Um, has everybody yeah. heard about that? Does everybody know what's happening there? Planetary-wise, Saturn and Uranus are going conjunct. So, Saturn and or, Sorry, Saturn and, <laughs> sorry. Saturn and Jupiter are going conjunct. There you go. And, As zero degrees of Aquarius. Yes, that's true. Okay. And um, so that means a whole lot of things are coming because, you know, Saturn is change and big, you know, big things kind of happening, upheaval in your life kind of things being shooken up. So um, actually, actually, Saturn, Saturn is a plane of structure and, okay. and, and uh, space and time. It's, 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 it actually rules the third dimensional reality that we live in. So, oh, that's interesting. Okay. So, so when Jupiter meets up with Saturn, mm -hmm. Jupiter is the one that is uh, that activates the other planet, right? So, so in, in fact, right now, coming up this next month, we mm -hmm. have Pluto um, coming into its third uh, out of three conjunctions with Jupiter. which hasn't happened in how long? Yeah, the three three conjunctions in the in the same sign. Mm -hmm. uh, it's I think over two thousand years. It, yeah. Um, in the sign of Capricorn, it's been it's been, but I mean if if we look at this entire year like as far as unique aspects, there's been <laughs> over a dozen, easy. Yeah, I mean, so things that we haven't seen in this entire era, like the the the, the age of Pisces. Mm -hmm. So moving into the age of Aquarius, like you think a lot of shit's happened now. Like I think I think it's what's, just what's starting. happened up until this point is more like preparation for like fuck. I, I'm not going to be surprised about anything that happens. Like, you know, me aliens either. Come and be tomorrow. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Like, like kind of just riding like, with it. I mean, honestly, when coronavirus hit, uh, I mean, I already knew something was coming, so I was prepared, and I was like, sweet, I get to meditate more and chill out and <laughs> relax, <laughs> and you know, so I wasn't. Everybody's freaking out. I wasn't panicked at all. I was busier than ever too. You know, so um, I think that yeah. sort of mindset is the most important thing to prepare yourself for whatever it is. 
Um, but I firmly believe this is going to be a good thing for those of us that are awake. Um, I agree. I agree. How do you see like the psychic capacity going? Like, um, well, I think reality? more more people are coming into their own psychic powers, and really, it's kind of freaking them out. Um, I know one of my very good friends is actually having a sort of nervous breakdown kind of situation right now because she's having visions, and I'm trying to walk her through it. Um, uh, I've already seen I'd already seen this coming, so I'd been trying to get her to meditate and to prepare. But, um, you know, she just she didn't want to see it. She fought it for a long time. So um, now we're trying to prepare for that. But I mean, I see that happening on a grand scale. You know, even my yeah. parents and my mom are starting to have visions. So this energy is just passing through and getting larger and larger and larger. Um, so what do you think? So what do you think is going to happen on December 21st? Well, OK, so there's the David Wilcox theory of um, you know, and this is actually not just his theory. This has been um, spoken about in the Bhagavad Gita and some of the Vedic uh, scriptures. But there's going to be a solar flare that um, hits the Earth. Well, I believe that that is actually going to happen. But I think the solar flare is more of an energetic uh, type thing. Of course. Not, not yeah. like we're going to burn up. I, I don't believe that. Because I believe it's been happening. This progression of energies is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I actually sun gaze, and I was down at Newport Beach um, a week and a half ago and was sun gazing, and I was like, whoa, I could see, you know, stuff sh like kind of shooting off of the corona. And oh, wow. um, I, I tried to get it, I went live on Instagram, and some people could see it and some people couldn't, you know. So um, I, I definitely think there's something to that. that. That is my own personal opinion. Um, I get people you know, saying, well, you know, don't expect something crazy. And I, I, I expect anything to happen. <laughs> I'm going into this like, you know, all this shit could hit the fan. And I'm going right. to be fine because, you know, I'm secure and whatever I trust in my, you know, I trust in this, what I've done to prepare. So. It's, it's interesting to me that you use the word Corona when you said you could see the rays shooting yeah. off uh -huh. the sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that, um, <laughs> I, I definitely think that that that, that, that that's an accurate uh, de uh, depiction. And, and and when the when when the sun flares, it sends cosmic gamma radiation to the Earth. And yes. I've actually um, I've heard that it's probably going to cause some like aurora borealis around like almost the whole the the entire globe. Yeah. Of course, we know mainstream media is going to try to twist that into some kind of fear mongering bullshit. Well, it's yeah, it's funny because they said okay, it could cause an aurora borealis, or it could cause the entire Earth to burn up. And, and for us to have an ice age, it's like, and the poles will shift. Okay, you know, either or. <laughs> well, I mean, we are coming into a new age, and 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 you know, um, from 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 what I've been, from all the information that I've gathered from doing the astrology and from being a biohacker myself, I can see that what I I feel like we're going to have a massive um, shift in consciousness from probably something like the the uh, that sun thing going out there uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah uh, and I think that I think that it's going to whatever's um, ha whatever has been purged out already through just like the cosmic radiation as it is through the very rare aspects that we've had all year I think that's gonna purge out the rest and, and some people may not be able to handle it especially yeah. people that have a lot of heavy metals in their body and, and that have really just not taken care Bingo. of themselves. I think Bingo. That, that's gonna be pretty yep. intense um, they're just not going to be able to handle this kind of energy. It's going to be too much for them. And um, I almost think they're going to sort of go insane, kind of like I said, what's kind of happening with a friend of mine. Um, whereas she is still on the other side of it, and I think we can always turn it around. But um, some people are just going to go, you know, they're just going to, you know, it's going to be too much. Yeah. And um, Ufo for everybody. Oh, yeah. What? Uh, uh, small, small batch king. Uh, said Bufo of our of Aris for everybody. Oh. That's a great <laughs> idea. Let's all just fucking take a couple hips and Bufo and fucking bam, everybody lives. Yeah, yeah I haven't done that. Time, then the world will definitely be a different place. That will be fucking beautiful. I'm down. Let's meditate, <laughs> manifest that shit. I'm down, <laughs> definitely. I mean, you know, I think the the basic um, premise here is that everybody's just getting on the same page meditating, doing some kind of practice, building it into their daily routine if they don't have it. Because yeah. even that little bit um, can change the collective. I mean, it can change the energy of the entire collective. 
if 1% of the population meditates at the same time, it can change yeah. crime, crime statistics. It can shift them dramatically. I mean, we've seen this from the Maharishi effect. So mm -hmm. imagine if 1% of just humanity is, is meditating at the same time, we can get this whole shit doesn't have to go down this way. You know, we could right. all just ascend and, and be happy and move on. You know, from you know, I, bullshit. I also feel like there there are some some deeper level things that are going on that probably we don't know about. You know, it, like especially when it comes down to, you know, like governments, corporations, politicians, and stuff. There's always um, there's always uh, uh, something that's happening that is 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 making it more complex than if we just all got together and meditated. Uh, but well, yeah, they don't but, want that to happen, right? So they're going right. to do everything that they can to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, true. And uh, so there, there, there's there's a meditation on November first with David Rodriguez. I'm gonna have to check that out. I'm definitely, into I'm, I'm definitely down for that. Yeah, November first. It's yeah. a great day to do it too, right after a full moon. Yeah, and Taurus, that's exactly conjunct to uh, to Uranus. That full moon is going to be nuts. So we're going to be doing a Shungite meditation, and I don't know if um, oh, okay. if you guys have are familiar with Shungite. I'll show you. This is my orb right here, and it's very, very powerful, powerful stone that has fullerenes in it, C60 um, carbon. Um, it's it, there is a sentient being in here. I feel like it. It's taken me down some rabbit holes that just you know you would not believe, um, and and. Uh, my friend Jessica and myself believe that this stone has a kind of capacity to uplift humanity enough so that more of the collective can advance. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. And I'll definitely put links to that um, in the in the notes so you guys can, can see about that and join that, that meditation. Mm -hmm. Because what we're trying to do is like the Maharishi effect, build the collective energy up, you know, so we can change some things, even if it's just crime going down great you know but if we've got this worldwide going on where multiple uh, you know countries and people are participating who knows what can happen i mean so true you know so true. The limit. So, yeah it's gonna be exciting i mean i definitely i don't know how you feel about this but i'm like i'm pumped i know in my heart like things are gonna be fucking awesome right There's, you know Right now, I feel like we're going through the last big wave is what I'm sort of calling it in my head, right? Especially, you know, astrologically with Mars um, doing the, the triple square with those energies in Capricorn. This is like a final complete scrub of the ego, of it's the shit like that we, yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm an Aries rising and a Capricorn sun. Mm -hmm. So like I've lived with this square my whole life. So it literally, like for me, I can feel this directly in my, you know, personalities in my body. It's, so it's does it feel like home to you kind of? You're familiar with it? Right now? No, I'm in massive amount of fucking pain. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I fucking yeah. feel like holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? But I also know that whenever I go, like there's been a few periods of time in my life um, where I've, I, it's hit me, the energy has hit me so hard. But whenever I come out of it, I come out of it way evolved. Yeah. Like I like like when I, I, I I've gone through maybe like four or five periods of time. It, it started back in about two thousand and ten. Mm -hmm. Um and it's I I'd say this is probably the fifth time I'm the whole I'm praying that's the last one, please. I've had enough <laughs> of them. But you know, those periods of time where you just get beat down, you feel like complete shit and you just you have no brain energy, you have no physical energy, you're just you're tired, you just you ha you don't have no fight or will in you like fucking at all it's just like fine just take it just i, I was don't like have that any more to give. until i was like that until today i don't know um a lot of things have been shifting and i've been working <laughs> and purging and you know moving in a lot of purging and a lot of shifting going on for sure yeah it, i mean I, what you did was amazing too it was just um he did some body work on me you guys and um, we did the sound lounge and it was <laughs> Yeah, whole this sound is changing the game. 100%. It is it's a whole awesome. different level. We're playing in a new ball game, folks. Like this is yes, some next nice level shit. Yes. I mean, mine was blown literally. Like the experience was so intense. And um, yeah, and then name you, you know, you doing the body work, especially it just 
everything kind of hit me at once and it was a lot i was exhausted and up until today and then today the energy started merging and even because my, my psychic ability started getting a little wonky for a minute too like uh -huh. i couldn't i couldn't see clearly i couldn't see timelines clearly anymore and yeah. it just all it got very clear it all narrowed down and everything got more precise i think mm -hmm. so yeah because i mean I well that, i mean i think that's what happens like when when we get upgraded or we, we elevate in our vibration we, we let go of a lot of dense energies yeah. we get infused with this higher vibration it's like it it clouds the senses or it, it clouds our like intuitive or psychic capacity a little bit in order to be able to reshape because it, it's almost like taking the wiring out taking all the tips off clearing it out and putting new shit on it and then rewiring it together in a whole new way <laughs> then you have to yeah. learn it at yeah. a whole new level right that's that's kind of that's a like, perfect like analogy too. that's exactly right your body's like <laughs> Wait a minute, does that go there? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. And it plugs into new circuits too. It's got a new circuit. And then suddenly, you're like, whoop, never heard that before, never felt that before, never seen yeah. that before. Okay, let's explore. To yeah. Me, it's like a video game. I love it. I mean, I've started noticing now that I used to get, um, like, you know, where I'll get goosebumps for confirmation for things, but now I'm getting them, like, pay attention automatically. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I have to look at something. And it's always, synchronicity 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 and it's something important it's not just random stuff too it's yeah like, it was tripping me out today i was like what the hell is going on <laughs> this is actually this is actually pretty crazy and that's um, awesome. yeah the ringing in your ears that's how it started for me too i had got the ringing in the ears um a couple of years ago oh, yeah, that's, that's a confirmation too that's your guides talking to you so just make sure you're listening yeah, yeah. totally all right. Okay. <laughs> my my little Hi. daughter. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm on I'm on live on Instagram. <laughs> hi. Yeah. I'm I'm on live on Instagram. Yep. You can say Here's hi. Here's the boss of the house running the show. What's up, cutie pie? This is seven. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Okay, the potty. I'm not working. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> So yeah. what? So what do you think about um, like the middle of November? There, there's a lot of heavy stuff going on in November. You too. know what? Like November is kind of a non. I mean, th this might be baby. Close the door, please. Close the door, please. Baby, close the door. Close the door. <laughs> Hold on one second. Sorry. Guys. <laughs> Intermission, <laughs> please. <laughs> These are the beauties uh, of having a child. Oh, <laughs> uh, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is real life, folks. <laughs> We're mm -hmm. just under here. Um, <laughs> so November is kind of a non sequitur for me. I guess it's not, I'm not focused on that because I'm still just, I don't know, for some reason I'm looking at December and preparing for that. So, I mean, I don't know. I think, I know some stuff is going to go, go down, but um, for me, it's a lot to just put wrap my head around December. So I'm like, you know, right. What so, are your thoughts? Well, I think November is going to be huge. It's going to be that November, next month is a month when we have Mercury going direct. Mm -hmm. We have Mars going direct. We have the last of three conjunctions between Pluto Ooh. and Jupiter. Yeah. Okay. And it's well, going there's to be my confirmation. a massive <laughs> culmination of purging catharsis in the world but also within ourselves too. That is when it's like, oh fuck, here we go. Now we're in the game. What are we gonna do? And shit's just gonna start happening like this. Yeah, right? it's like so buckle up. Time it's to buckle play up or and it's, it's sort of like pot, kind of right thing. now, everything that we're purging is, 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 is preparing us yeah. for these new energies coming in that are going to be more intense than we've ever felt in our lives. We're gonna feel propelled in a direction like, oh, like, like, you're gonna be like, I've been exhausted. And once Mars goes direct, Mars is gonna be like, okay, get this, do this, do that, time to do this, bring these people together, do this. And it's gonna just go a thousand miles a second. I, it's just gonna be you. And yeah. as long as you are tuned in and paying I can attention, see, to I your can heart see center, exactly what, yeah, gonna go. Yeah, right. In fact, I can see exactly what you're talking about, actually, like crystal clear now okay um that's exactly what it's going to be like it's like going to be like challenger taking off and you know you're just going right. to have to be then, ready for the ride and then when we get to december it's going to be like okay 
now now like the chaos is sort of like not settled but it's more mm-hmm. like now everything is solidified it's it's gonna take like a month for everything to solidify it's gonna come up and out and then solidify <laughs> good time for ayahuasca ceremony absolutely yeah 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. And then it's like after t- December 21st, go time. But don't forget that this this um, this uh, this period is not fully over with until Mars passes over Jupiter for the third and final time, which is not going to be until mid to end of January. The January, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm aware of that, and um, I, I I think for. I think for those of us who are actually making the shift into, see, I feel like I've made the shift into 5D already. Like part of me, you know, like I've been back and forth with it, but for those of us who are actually making that shift, you know, at that time, um, it's, yeah, I I think it's actually not going to hit until like you're saying the end of January. So people might get a little, Oh, what's going on? But you know, (laughs) just, just have to hang in there because We, I mean, the thing is, is the who, who, who knows what the cabal is going to throw in there too at the last minute? Like, what they're grasping at straws right now to make sure this yeah. shit doesn't go down. You know, uh, yeah. That's if you just were them, think, just think about it. if you were them, what would you do? What would you do to stop this? And that's how we have to start thinking in order to, you know, like get get around it. Because it's like, okay, is the Q agenda? Is that, um, you know, is that the cabal? Is that some psyop? Or what's going on? Is it, um, you know, what's the well, whole no, story? I know the election's going to cause some crazy shit to go down. Too. Well, yeah, exactly. But, you know, in in all of this, like, mm-hmm. you can you can sit there and analyze this shit to your fucking, you know, skin yeah. falls off. But the fact is, is that as long as it feels right to you in your heart, that's your truth and that's what you yeah. need to believe in. Hell yeah. You can tell, you can tell when you see this shit if it's fucking real, if it's rigged, if it's fake. I mean, you just need to tune in, like tap into your own intuition. Like I know like whoever, you know, like yeah. like the gift of this higher vibrational energy is being able to see into people's energy, to be able to see, you know, in in, in into, into their soul. The as long as, the, and right. The as long knowing. as you're willing to look within yourself, then once you look at to that depth in yourself, you can see other people, and that is what really the, the awakening is all about. So that when you when you cross you know when you walk by someone on the street, <laughs> you know like you're like okay I see you, right? I see you for your energy, not yeah. for your 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 meat suit. <laughs> yeah, and you know that. So that's been something interesting that used to happen to me where I would see uh, like gargles coming out of people's heads, and I had to tone down the the you know the dial because I would see right. people's true intentions, right? Yeah. and that's. So that got dialed up on me again without me even, you know, I, I thought I had it tuned and no, nope, that started up again. But um, interestingly enough, there I'm seeing different layers to people too. So it's not just good or bad and it's not dualistic anymore. It's layers. And um, that's interesting yeah. to me too. And I can see, you know, there, there's more goodness around than we think. And, um, you know, because I think it was, it was looking a little bleak there for a while. You know, especially yeah, with this COVID thing, you know, everybody's hiding away from each other. Nobody, ooh, get away, germs, you know. And it just yeah. turned, you know. Yeah, cooties. Just, Co- yeah, it it's turned everybody cooties. on its head. So um, I'm happy to see that people are asking more questions and people know mm-hmm. now, like, okay, something, something ain't right here. Yeah, so everything ain't right. And it's, yeah. it, it's being thrown in our face at this point. So, so someone here asked, actually asked, asked a pretty good question. So I'd like to, uh, it's yeah. a very heated question is, uh, who, who do you think is going to win the election? Um, so I think it's going to be Trump. Um, and it's going to be not by a landslide, I don't think, but um, I think it's going to be Trump. And that's going to cause a whole other series of events to unfold. Um, yeah, I think I think that they're gonna, um, especially with Neptune uh, square to the nodes. Last time Neptune was was square the nodes in Pisces, okay. uh, when ne- when Neptune was in Pisces was uh, was right before they rigged elect- elections. I think right before the Civil War. Um, oh, what the, you mentioned the, that? That's crazy. Yeah, and then so I think that they're gonna try to. I think that the 
the D's are going to try to um, definitely fix the game. I mean, they already are yeah. trying to do that, but yeah. they're not going to succeed. I think. Yeah. I think. I think the big T is going to come out and and uh, it's going to piss a lot of people off, but it's going to be a really good thing because then uh, things are going to change around here. But yeah, and- but but it's going to cause a lot of unrest in the very lower vibrational section of the of the of the. So country. the Arcturian energy has always just been kind of preparing me for this and telling me that okay, they were excited when Trump won before because it was um, a progression of things that had to happen. Yeah. Um, why I don't know. They didn't. I wasn't privy to that, but they just said that this was a good thing, and that this was leading to you know change, um, and that okay. was like a win for us. So um, they've told me that you. this is again um, as long as we're not giving our power away to any one person, and um, because that can you know that that can cause a whole a whole sort of other uh, merit of issues. But because mm-hmm. it's, there's in the Bible that the Antichrist is, you know, could come out of this whole situation of revelations or whatever. Um, I believe that could be the case if too many people give their power to, let's say, Trump or Biden or whatever. Does that make sense? You believe that, everybody? wait, you say, say that again, you believe that the Antichrist... So, revelations could now? happen where it's just the apocalypse, basically, if too many people give over their power to somebody else to save them instead of us saving ourselves. Well, yeah, of course, but that but that's like a belief system or mindset. But right. you you don't believe that we are in the apocalypse right now. I mean, apocalypse just means um, like the the, metaphor- the, the uncovering of the unknown. Yeah. yeah, metaphorically, I do, but um, I, I just mean like as far as the collective energy, um, we're still in a push and pull. Like the collective. Energy oh yeah. Tipped. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I believe that after the twenty first, that's when that. If we are like yes. on a yes. on a Peter Totter, it's gonna mm-hmm. it's gonna it's gonna go fifty one forty nine, and, and we're gonna, gonna feel it having, like, whoo, thank you. Yeah, and that <laughs> and, and that's when the of... change is gonna really start to pick up. And yeah. but I mean, they're gonna fight it. They're gonna fight it tooth and nail for a while. This isn't over, but you know, yeah. fuck them. Yeah, I mean, because what, what, the, the old way is dead. Yeah, it's like you know, I, I kind of feel like, I mean, I'm, I may bite my tongue here, but like bring it no, whatever don't i mean i'm good you know i it's i mean it's gonna be some next level shit i know but oh yeah whatever it is as long as you know in your heart what you're doing and you like you really are just constantly working on yourself you're gonna be fine. yeah exactly yeah different level different devil my my uh yeah. my, my mom loves yeah. saying that quote Yep, and everybody's going through their own sort of wave of riding this thing through and figuring it out, but everybody's sort of making it. So I feel like that's a, you know, that's definitely an indication of what way the seesaw is going to (laughs) go. The seesaw. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Yes. We are on the metaphorical proverbial seesaw, and we are about to gain the advantage. Which is yep. exciting, but it also requires us to step up in responsibility. Yep, 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 100%. Law of One talks about that too. It's um, each individual person has to make that choice. You know, service to others or service to self. Which one? Right. Well, I, I really think that service to others um, results in service to self. Right? Absolutely. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because uh, all of us have a mission for humanity. Like we're all here to help, you know, be be a part of a collective to 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 be productive. Like that's that's one big lie. I feel like we've been sort of sold is that not everyone has a purpose. Like some people are meant to just work in a workshop and no, and just yeah, you know, punch totally. tickets. All the now fuck that. And totally. if everybody in the world was doing the thing that they naturally, authentically love to do and was made to do, then everybody would be happy at doing what they're doing. That would be doing, utopia. Yeah. And everybody would be more abundant all over. And I think that that is a direction that we're going into. But we're going to have to that's bring back. That's a program back, that like, they've. But that's a program they gave us. And yeah, gave- like like come. Uh, and I think that's why plant medicine, like in indigenous tribes, have gotten mm-hmm. so popular over the last few years because we're bringing back this tradition of community of commune of everyone working Absolutely, together yeah right yeah and that's and been and that's been lost for too long yeah it, it is bringing that it's bringing that um, old tradition back and it's also unlocking our dna that um has been you know has been basically just dormant for 
all of these years. So those connections, once those start going, it, you know, it, that creates a whole new set of changes for us. You got that right. <laughs> yeah, I like what you just said. Yeah, you have to take care of yourself first. Um, put your air mask on for you first before you help your child even. Because if you can't help yourself, you ain't gonna be able to help anybody else. 100%, yeah, absolutely. Definitely, that was a really good point. But, um, <laughs> so what do you think is gonna happen after January? What do you, what, do, what well, is it gonna be like in 5D? Like, what are, what are we gonna feel like? What are we gonna? Well, let's, let's look at the astrology for that, okay? okay. Um, coming in January, we're gonna, we're gonna start to come into the, uh, the other side of Neptune being square the nodes. Mm -hmm. Meaning that's going to go like evolve into this this next shift, and then we're going to have uh, the Saturn and Jupiter square to uh, Uranus. That's going to last like over a year. Okay. So that so that square is basically going to happen three times because they're both going to go retrograde and they, and they both move very slowly. And not only that, too, we're going to have Mars that that that's going to conjunct Uranus. That's going to be square to Saturn and Jupiter. Um, okay. So. There's a lot of very, very, um, it's much more stabilized, but it's also much more combative because Saturn represents control. It represents the structure. It represents how things are now. Uranus represents the future. It represents evolution. It represents breaking the mold. It's Kundalini energy. So when you have these guys squaring off, these guys are like, okay, well, the people that want to stay safe, want to stay here, they're going to fight for what they have. Yeah. But Uranus and Taurus, is going to fight for all the new. So it's going to be like these two sides are solidified now, right? Yeah. And we're just battling it out for evolution. We're staying the same. And of course, I believe that the evolution is going to win out. But the last time, the last time that uh, Uranus was in Taurus was around the time that Hitler was around. So that's also something that we have to be, you know, consider it, consider and Ooh. be not worried about, but really like look at the dynamics of what's going on now in relationship to what was going on then. And exactly. See, like, I was going to say that with like for people not to get too involved in the Trump versus Biden thing, because that can shift on you, you know, and that can, you, who know, we all saw what happened with it. I'm not saying that Trump is Hitler. I'm not at all saying that, but either way, you just can't give too much power to any one thing. Keep the power to yourself. You know, you right. Right. So, and then Saturn and in and, uh, and Uranus. So Saturn is the ancient ruler of of I mean uh, I'm sorry Aquarius. Saturn mm -hmm. is the ancient ruler of Aquarius before they discovered Uranus. Okay. So Saturn has a lot of power in in um, in Aquarius as well, and this means that there's going to be restrictions, like probably a lot more um, uh, suppressing of. Well, at first uh, I think speech. yeah they're going to have to because it's going to be right. such a you know such a big change for everybody. I think there's right. going to have to be this period of adjustment in order to... Right. So that's where we have to watch out for south node tendencies because, uh, you know, south node is long distance travel too. Long. There's going to be issues with long distance travel. There's, I think a lot of airlines are going to shut down. I think that there's going to be different modes of transportation that are going to I think the internet's going to go dark. Evolve. I think with that whole, we're going to, yeah, we're not going to have communication and stuff. I don't know if you've been getting Possible. this, um, but in my car... All of a sudden, I've been getting these um, L.A. counties doing testing on the emergency broadcast system just in the car. And really? I'm like, huh, what are they testing for? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, and I'm like the only one that's seen it. I don't know, but I've taken pictures of it. It's happened like three times. Uh, power like, outages. Oh, yeah, they, they have, because their whole green deal or, or, or something like that, there, there's a lot of power outages going on. Yeah, California. but th this was more, it's like, well, I don't know. I, I've, been, I've been getting some stuff about just yes energetically but also like all of our communication systems going down like us going dark completely yeah so almost like an emp hitting the hitting the circuit what's that almost like an emp hit the circuit yeah and i think that has to do with you know the the solar flare but you know who uh, knows? Possible. um there are times yeah. have said that it's it's a it's a necessity that it has to happen in order for the reset right okay. yeah yeah, that's I, I think that's anything's possible at this point. Yeah, yeah. But well, but the important thing is, like like in you know like we keep saying, is is the uh, is focusing on the the, the, the North Node energy, right? <laughs> zombies in the streets. Well, yeah. there already are zombies in the fucking streets. This protects Especially you from going EMF, to like guys. San Francisco. This protects you from EMF and five G. Yeah, there you go. I've got um, the, I've got a sticker on the back of my phone too. So there you go. Yeah. 
but um, focusing on communities, focusing on like, Absolutely. you know, your, your neighborhood, you know, communities, or even like communities we have, I mean, communities that we have online are, are awesome too, but those are subject to the rules of the internet as well. So it's yeah, really people about- people have to like, share and they're, they're gonna have to, you know, <laughs> 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 Okay, baby, I'm almost done. I'm, 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 okay. Here we go. You want to be a part of this? Be a part of this? Uh, yeah, yeah Tourmaline's good too. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Last what do you think is going to happen, little one? What do you think is going to happen this year? What, what What's going to happen? Oh, you're going to be shy now. Oh, now, now you're going to be shy, huh? I don't know. Yeah, you do. You've told me. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? That looks like a Ferris wheel. That looks like a Ferris wheel? <laughs> yeah. I ride on it. Well, what do you think is going to happen with the planet and stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> what do you think? Just listen to dress. This is right here in your heart. Oh, hmm? <laughs> uh, people are giving you hearts. See, they love you. <laughs> you never talked to them before? Huh? Never talked to him before. Okay. <laughs> Big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, yeah. interestingly so. enough, she has told me a little story about being on the moon and healing um, aliens that were blind. Um, the story came wow. up about a couple months ago, and um, she was wor she was upset because she wasn't able to heal them, and then all of a sudden oh. she's been able to do it recently so wow that's amazing I don't know what that connection there is but um you know people think the moon silly to stop <laughs> people think the moon was put <laughs> was put there anyways artificially so yeah that's and that that's interesting concept but i mean if you think about how many like layers of of uh you know societies were around thousands and thousands of years ago i mean the egyptians they they we pretty sure that they had technology that far surpassed ours so oh yeah i'm sure somebody had technology to create a planet at some point in time and it's the most gravitational influencer you know on our earth so yeah yeah, yeah i mean it's it would be interesting to see how that unfolds yeah because i think i think here in the next few years too we're going to have a lot of really incredible technology that's going to be unveiled that's already exists but we didn't know I oh, think a big lot of that time, come big out. time. I mean, I think, um, you know, being able to teleport, being able to, you know, um, you know, basically go anywhere you want um, instantaneously, time travel. We're looking at the whole shebang. Um, oh, yeah. Revealed. Yeah, I think so. Um, not till next year, but I think it's going to be slow progression, of course. Um, and they're going to have to limit these kinds of things happening because when you, I think you're, I think time travel is through wormholes mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure they're trying to figure out how that's going to, how that's all going to work with so many people oh, yeah. having, being privy to this knowledge. That's oh yeah. Doing. Without a doubt. So. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, see everybody that you're telepathic, everybody's going to start feeling these awesome energies now too. And everybody's telepathic. We all are. That's the, oh, yeah. that's the beauty of it. <laughs> yeah, it's just a matter of if we tapped into it or not. Yeah, yeah. And just, you know, no. truly making sure uh, your chakras are all seven. Seven. <laughs> Quiet, please. <laughs> okay, I can't sit here. Thank you, buddy. <clears throat> she's four, so she's. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um so yeah. yeah so so right now we're pretty much in the middle of the deepest part of the storm i would say um and this next two weeks is going to be sort of like in this in this in this cesspool of shit energy that is just being it has to get rattled around and thrown around a bit so that we can just you know get rid of it and you know toss it out yeah, because the so, opposite of contraction is expansion. So right. we have to all go through this period of limitations and, you know, just ugh, energy before we can just explode. Yeah, and this is the biggest contraction expansion that I think that we've ever experienced, like, you know, in humanity right now. We're yeah. right in the middle of it. So after this contraction, 
is going to be massive. Oh, yeah. Then we're going to be seeing some superhero shit going on. Yeah, things, <laughs> things are going to be different, to say the least. I mean, this is going to be unlike anything anybody's experienced in our ancestry, our, you know, any of our ancestors have ever experienced oh, yeah. before. So this is, I mean, if, and if you think about the Atlantean and Lemurian times, like, I think they, you know, they went the wrong direction with it, obviously, and you see where that ended up. But I think we're finally embracing a different way and we understand, you know, how to do this a little bit better. So, but that, you know, that's up to us. Mm-hmm. So, uh, somebody in the chat just asked, uh, 7 to 11 November, how will it be energy-wise? I'll tell you what, will it be energy-wise? Um, that period of time mm -hmm. is going to be like, you take the birthing process, that's like right after the head poops out. That's right after the crowning process. That's the big, that's the big week because that's right, right before, um, Mars goes direct on the 12th and then the Jupiter Pluto conjunction happens on the 13th. So that's that, that week is going to be like, when, like if it, if it was a nuclear device, it's when the ball of uranium goes into the thermodynamic chamber. If anybody know about thermodynamics, I'm not sure, but you know. Well, it's I interesting that I, na I named my daughter Seven, too, because <laughs> I knew, like, because so, it came to me in a dream, honestly, and uh, I wasn't quite sure. I just knew it was tight. She almost, she almost made me slow. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, <it's true. laughs> and then it, I got child, Seven. Part of childbirth, huh? Jesus. Yep. I'm happy that I'll never That's know what that feels track. like. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I know she has some. She has some big part to play in this whole thing too. So do all children right yeah. now. I mean, oh yeah, this is um, yeah, this is inter interesting time for them too. Like I see so many children um, with telepathic abilities now. It's kind of like whoa, it's tripping me oh, out yeah. because they'll, you just look at them and you know, like they got you, you know. So <laughs> absolutely, yeah. yeah, you get that right. Especially kids born twenty twenty. I mean, they're going to have some of the Our most students. powerful, uh, the powerful astrology. Like I, I've done a couple of my friends' kids from being born this year, and they're no joke. Like yeah. really powerful people. I mean, born, being born. Well, yeah, year. and there's so many hybrids being born too, not just oh, stars, it's a hybrid, which that's a whole next level of things. You know, their DNA <laughs> is completely different. Like, um, I had yeah. um, Vivian Chabot on my podcast, who is a Arturian, uh, Arturian hybrid. So her biological okay. father is Arcturian. And um, whoo, the, her energy is just, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. It's I can like, imagine. You, you just feel, I mean, you feel like a tr you've been hit with a tranquilizer dart. Like, it's just like, wow, yeah. man. And everything she I says is just so prolific and profound. And it's just, that's the energy that I feel is going to happen on a grand scale soon. So Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I think little so, Little shamans, too. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's a demon. <laughs> Alien and demon. Well, yeah, there's a lot of those going around, too. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, hell, yeah. All right. All right. Well, um, yeah, big big energy is coming up, guys. want to just uh, come on here today and, and, uh, and share some insight with you. So thank you guys for hopping on. It's greatly appreciated. Yeah, everybody just um, make sure you're grounding, 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 and working, doing something, some kind of practice to, <laughs> to yeah. ground up. And, you know, um, keep these energies moving through because that was the one thing that I kind of got stagnant about when they first started hitting me. Like, boom, you know, it's just like I tensed up and I stopped like, grounding as much. Baby. Right. Yeah, please. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Thank you. <laughs> So yeah, that okay. that was the biggest thing for me. Is like, oh, remember, you know, go back to basics. Um, you know, when you start to freak out, because um, I think the energies are going to get a lot more. Like the Schumann resonance is already off the charts. You know. Oh yeah. Okay. It's crazy. Yeah. So, um, what can you do instead of eat? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, well, well I have a few ideas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> work out. Um, in many different capacities. Um, drink water, sure. Drink 
water. There's really an infinite number of things you can do besides eating, to be honest. Um, yeah. So just get creative Meditate. and find something that you like to do. Stop. Mm -hmm. It's all about your mindset. Because when, when eating is a default, that means that that's your addiction. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the heart chakra is being, like, really worked up, blasted oh, right now. Wim Hof. Wim Hof, actually... yeah. He has great breathing exercises that, um, yeah. is interestingly enough, like, you could stand in, you know, in the middle of snow for hours and nothing would affect him. So mm -hmm. he was addicted. Oh, you were addicted to weed. Yeah. I mean, Wim yeah. Hof's breathing, it's, um, honey, please, please go watch your iPad. Thank you. I'm not going to ask again. Because a lot, a lot more people than you think have, have addictions because addiction. Oh, we all do. We all have yeah, addiction exactly. to something or another. Right. You yeah. can be addicted to like, you know, a thought pattern. You can be addicted to porn. You can be addicted to, you know, yeah, working out. System. You can be addicted to. Uh, right. I mean, there's yeah. the, people are even addicted to water. You know, that's a thing. Like, and that was yeah. bizarre to me. But anything, anything that pulls you out of balance yeah. is an addiction, really. Yeah, yeah. and so, meat is another important thing. Like, everybody oh. watch Sebi. Stop, please, honey. Okay, I'm not gonna ask you. <laughs> well, you know, I'm addicted to astrology too, so I could. What's that? <laughs> is it before? Before I said I'm addicted to astrology. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I mean everything but, in moderation. You, know, you, you can make your existence, right? you know, um, you know, productive. <laughs> Thank that's you. That's hilarious. You know everything in moderation, and I think that's kind of the key is to remember to stick. You know, go back to basics, moderation, and to just move, like keep moving the energy through. And you know, honestly, then we'll be fine. Yeah. Exactly. 729 XO. That's interesting. Seven's coming up all over the place. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I feel like that. <laughs> 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 right. She just loves going to the bathroom, huh? What's that? <laughs> she just loves going to the bathroom, huh? <laughs> Is she? I, I think so. Seven, close the door. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Seven, that's not good. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh, that's adorable. Lovely. She's. Well, hey, it's real life shit, yo. Yeah, it is. That's the shame. We're, this, we're right up in it here. <laughs> my yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no shame, my oh, goodness. Yeah. That's how it is. You, know, you got kids. You guys have kids. You realize, you know, <laughs> they do shit. <laughs> There's, they've yeah. got their way. And she's a Gemini, so, you know, she's. There we go. So. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe. So. So, Kirsten, what is, what is your overall message for the people here today? What is my overall message? Hope and surrender. Um, that was my big thing, you know, a couple of days ago when I went to the sound lounge was surrender to whatever's happening. Let it be. Because I, be I was beating myself up about, you know, things that like, oh, I thought I was doing such a great job and I thought I was, you know, up here. And then come to find out, mm, I'm still lacking in a couple areas. So surrender and just accept it the way it is and things will be fine if you do that no matter what no matter what happens things will be fine yes they will be you know um Beautiful we are state. all going to be good i mean I, this is something i can say with 100 percent certainty we are all going to be good if you're good in here if you're good with Amen. yourself we're all going to be good we yep, will make go with it the flow yo yeah Accepting to go with the flow, that's all it's about. Yeah. And if you're in the Las Vegas area and you want to try out that, that incredible vibroacoustic sound lounge, DM oh me, gosh. hit me up, and let me know, Absolutely and I'll be happy to it. let you experience it. Yeah. yeah. It, it, next level, guys. I mean, this is this is something that was so amazing. And yeah, and go see you as well. Mommy, can amazing. you go to clean? In a moment. I'm finishing up right here. I will be done in just a moment. Okay, well, thank you. <clears throat> All right. Yes. Well, uh, thank you guys. Thank you for coming on with me here. Thank I'm you so stuff. much for Random. having me. It's been an awesome experience, and you know, it's great to meet all of you, and I uh, hope for hmm. to see you again soon. So, um, check Absolutely. out my website www.psychicbabes.com, and um, the last podcast I did, we just had um, name on there, and um, we're going to be doing 
uh, one tomorrow with Craig from the Sound Lounge. So from, yeah, awesome. Before you, Love yeah. It. So it's going to be awesome. You guys are going to get to hear about all the new gadgets and tech stuff that's coming out, which is right in line with all. So much kind of cool stuff happening. Yeah. Oh so yeah. It's exciting all right. times, guys. All right. Yes. Yeah. You guys have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow.